Part 3. We are going to continue with the rules for the four basic operations and we are going to focus on multiplication. You will find this on page 73 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at this power. This will be called the base. This will be, this 4 will be the index or the exponent and we say that it's x to the power of 4. Okay, if you just see an x, remember the following. In front of it, it's a 1. You can put a 1 there. And if there stands nothing, it's actually also a 1. So that index is also a 1. So the numerical coefficient will be 1 as well as the index will be 1. Okay, note the meaning of the following terms. If I have 3a, that is meaning 3 times a or a plus a plus a, which is 3a. If it's 3a to the power 4, it's 3 times a times a times a times a, which is 3a to the power 4. So only the a is to the power 4. But if I put it in brackets, then 3a is to the power of 4. That means 3a times 3a times 3a times 3a, which will give me 81a to the power of 4. And if it's 3 to the power 4a, then it's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times a, and that's giving me 81a. Okay. If it's x squared y, then it's x times x times y, which is giving me x squared y. And if it's xy squared, then it's x times y times y, which will be xy squared. If it's in brackets, xy to the power of 2, then it's xy times xy, which will be equal to x squared y squared. If it's x plus y to the power of 3, then it's x plus y, multiply x plus y, multiply x plus y. And as soon as we, we are doing long multiplication, I will come back and show you how I will get that result. And then if it's 3pq to the power of 3, then it's 3 times PQ, times PQ, times PQ. So the 3 is only one time, but the PQ will be 3 times. And that's giving me an answer of 3, P to the power of 3, Q to the power of 3. Okay, I want you to do for me number B, number C, as well as number F. Okay, let's start. Let's try now 5. Let's start with number B. Okay, I'm going to simplify. So it's 2xy multiply 2xy. And if I simplify 2 times 2, that will be 4. x times x will be x squared. And y times y will be y squared. And that will be the answer. Okay, if I do number C, then it's 3 times C times C times D. And that will be 3, so it's c to the power of 2, and it's d. Okay, so that will be my final answer. And number f, if it's 2 times 2 times 2 times b times c. So 2 times 2 times 2 will be 8, and then it's b, c. That will be my final answer. Okay, let's continue. Now, in multiplication, you can, you, you can work with unlike terms because it's actually just one term. It's almost like if you have a horse, it can breed with a donkey and you will get a mule. Okay, so if it's 2x times 3y, then it's 2 times 3, it's 6, and that x times y, it's xy. Like and unlike terms can be multiplied. Okay, now I divide this into two groups. I divide this in group A as well as group B. So in group A, if I have x to the power 2 times x to the power of 3, so this is my index, my indices. So what do I do with my index? It's like there's 2x and there's 3, 3 um, x, x times x times x, so it will be x to the power of 5. So you add the indices of the basis that's the same. The two bases, can you see? There's two bases and there's two exponents. And don't forget, I just want to show you and remind you. Oh, let's just get another color. Because that was x times x and that was 
x times x times x. And if you count it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's why you get that 5. Okay, there I showed it to you. Now, let's just look at this multiplication. So basically, I will just, just like in primary school, I will multiply the numbers. So 3 times 2, that's 6. So that will be x2, y2. In this case, there's a times a squared, so that there's a 1 and 2, so that's a3. B, there's 2 and 3, so it's B5. Then 2 times negative 10, remember your negative numbers. If we can count the negative stripes, if there's just 1, the sign will stay negative. 2 times 10 will be 20. And then how many X? There's X to the power 2. How many Y's? Remember there's 1, so 5 plus 1, it will be 6. Okay. I want you to do the following for me. Try now 6. Do number C. Do number E. And do number G. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Okay. So, number C. So, if I have 5Y squared, multiply 3Y3, three three, multiply 2Y squared. Let's just some, first, let's just multiply like in primary school. 5 times 3, that will be 15 times 2. That will give me an answer of um, uh, 30. Okay, so that will be 30. And how many y's are there? 2 plus 3, it's 5, 6, 7. So it's y to the power of 7. And if I come to number e, then it's 8a squared b3 multiply negative 2a squared b3. Three. So let's just do this. Remember, it's multiplication, negative numbers. I can count the negative signs. How many are there? One. Odd numbers, so the sign will be negative. Then 8 times 2, what will be 8 times 2? That will be 16. And then it's 8, 2 plus 2, it's 4. And then B, 3 plus 3, that's 6. And that will be my final answer. Okay, the next one. <coughs> is number G, and that will be 2A3B4, B square C, A square C5. Okay, and if I multiply, so this is, remember, 1, 1. So 2 times 1 times 1, so it will just be 2. Okay, and then if I look at the next one, a 3 times a2, so it's 3 plus 2, there will be 5. And then b, 4, 5, 6. It looks like b will just be 6. And then c, remember there's 1, so c will also be 6. And that will be my final answer. Okay, so let's just see, it was number g, so it's 2, a5, b6, c6. Okay, let's go to multiplication b. Now, the difference between this one and this one, there you will see base index, base index. Okay, here you will see one base with a double index. And actually, it's meaning x, x3, you must multiply the bracket x to the power of 3 two times. So it's x times x times x, x times x times x, and that will give me a total of 6. But how? what will be the short method? Instead of adding because everyone was having its own base now you have only one base i will multiply so three times two that will be six and that's just the short way of doing but you can write it out and then you will see it's that answer okay again let's just move up let's just look at a few examples so if i multiply this uh, again you can write it out b4 times b4 times b4 but the short way, 4 times 3, there will be 12 Bs. And this one, now usually kids struggle with this one. And it's sometimes good if they write it out, especially this one. So if I look at this one, it will be x3 times x3, okay, times x3. I'm struggling a bit with the writing. So it's 3, 6, 9, 9. And then it's y4 times y4 times y4. So it's 4 times 3, and that's 12. So the most important, oh, let's just get the rubber. 
just remember this. Uh, just as I was multiplying this two, I must multiply and I must multiply. And that will give me 9 and that will give me 12. Okay. Um, I want to do this one because and I'm going to make space. Because a lot of kids struggle with that one. And, and if your index is very small, like in this case it's 3, you can write it out. I'm first going to explain it with writing it out. So basically it's negative 3 a b squared and that's to the power of 3. So this is actually meaning negative 3 a b squared multiply negative 3 a b squared multiply negative 3 a b squared and that will a negative times a negative times a negative. How many negative signs? 1, 2, 3. 3 is odd number, so the sign will be negative. 3 times 3, that's 9, times 3, 27. How many A's? 1, 2, 3. How many B's? 2, 4, 6. Okay, so that's the long way. Now, what was the short way? Now, I like always to tell my students this story. You have one girl, and you have, okay, let's, let's rather make it, yes, two boys. So the girl is the number and the boys is the variables. Okay. Now, their pocket money is in the following. This girl is one. This boy, if there stands nothing, one. And now you come to them and you tell them, I'm going to triple your pocket money. Now, can you just do it with this boy? No, no. Maths is a fair game. So whatever I do with this boy, I must also do with this boy. And whatever I do, do, do to the boys, I must also do to the girl. Okay. So I take their pocket money and I multiply it by 3. So then it will be 3. And then 1 times 3 is 3. And then A, 1 times 3 is 3. And this boy B, he was having 2 and I triple it and it's 6. And don't forget that negative. And now I just say, oh, this is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. How many negative signs? It's 3. It's an odd number. If it's odd, the sign will be negative. And 3 times 3 times 3 will be 27. And that's the short way of doing this. Okay. So if there's an even number like a 2, say for example there was a 2 and I have a negative, then the sign will be positive. But if it's negative and I have an odd number, then the sign will be negative. And that's what I explained there. Okay. I want you to do the following. I want you to do for me. Okay, let's just get that thing correct. I just want you to do number. Okay, let's just mark it. Do for me number A and number C and number G. And then you first stop. And then I'll show you what we do with the last one. Okay. You can stop the video. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So let's just start. Try now. Seven. Let's start with number one A. So this was A to the power three and five. Remember, one base with a double index. And you can write this out five times. But the short way is A. 3 times 5 is 15. Because if they stands 100, you must write that out 100 times. And it's too much. So we must have a short way of doing that. Okay, number C. So if number C was 4, x squared, and it's to the power of 4. Now again, remember my story. Go, and this is my boy. Okay, and remember, if this stands nothing, it's a 1. So I'm going to... Multiply the girl's money by 4, and I'm going to multiply the boy's money by 4. So if I have this answer, it will be 4. Now 1 times 4, not the base, the pocket money. That's the little number there. So 1 times 4, that's 4. And x, 2 times 4, what will that be? 8. And then don't forget, if I'm, I'm doing this one, I'm going to say it's 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Or press on your calculator 4 to the power of 4. And that's going to give you a big answer of 2, 5, 6. 
and that's x to the power of 8. Okay, um, and then the last one, number g, I'm just going to change colors. So it's negative 2, and it's again p to the power of 4 and 3. And again, don't forget my story. This is my girl. This is my boy. And what am I going to do? There's a 1. Let's just make it white. And I multiply the small number, and I multiply. So if I, r I write it out, now remember, there's three negative signs. That's an odd number, so the sign will be negative. So 2. 1 times 3 is 3. P, 4 times 3 is 12. And then I'm just going to say 2 times 2 times 2. What will that be? That will be 8. And then P to the power of 12. And don't forget, if you just get 3 in the exams, you can go and do it like this. To make sure you are correct, rather write out that brackets how many times? 3 times. So I'm, I'm taking it actually from multiplication B back to multiplication A. And then it's much easier. Negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. And P4 times P4 times P4. So it's 4, it's 8, it's 12. It's just when that index is too big that you must know the short method. Okay. I just want to show you this last in the following example, if I ask you to do this, now let's just because I just want to take you back. Can you remember in the previous one I was saying multiplication A, every base is having its own index. Multiplication B, I have one base with a double index. So I just want to see if you can identify between these two sums. So if I do this one, okay, let's just move it again. And let's just, okay, so if I look at this, 2a, it's like multiplication a, easy. But if I see the brackets and the 5, it's multiplication b. If I look at this one, because there's not an index there, it's multiplication a. Multiplication a, oh, this is a combination. So I think I'm going to show you how to do number e, because number e is quite challenging and very, very, very important. You can first try to do it and then stop the video and see if you are correct. So number E. So it's negative 6 and it's negative 6, M squared, N, 3, and 2. And I just want to move it a little bit down and I want to show you that I explained it here. When you see a power there, you must first do the power before you can do the multiplication. So you must first say 3 to the power of 3 is 27, and as soon as they're standing nothing or a 1, and there's a 1, you can do the multiplication. And that's exactly the same. So what do I do? I'm going to rewrite, just rewrite um, first that negative 6. And now I'm just going to do this first. I'm can, I can write out the brackets two times, but I want to do it on the short way. So remember it's 2, so it's a negative negative, so this will become positive. So it's 6, and, and, and remember my story. This is my girl, and this is my two boys, and I'm going to double their pocket money. Okay, so there's a 1. So if I start, I'm saying 1 times 2, that's 2. And then M, 2 times 2, what is that? 4. And N, 3 times 2, 6. Remember, do it with each and every one. Okay. And now, now I can, okay, now 6 to the power of 2, I can even put in an extra step. 6 times 6 is 36, M4, N6. And now if I'm going to multiply that, it's negative, and this is just because of this negative, because there's one odd number, so it's negative. So 2, 1, 6, and then it's M4, and N6. So very important. You must first do that part before you can come to this part. So I just rewrite it every time. Okay, let's finish off. So this is also multiplication B, B, and then you can do A. Oh, there's not standing anything, so it's a 1. So you can just do multiplication A. Again, B, B, and then afterwards A. And then this one, B, B. First work out that. And then multiplication A multiply the two with each other.